it's Diane Hall, author, medium, channel, singer-songwriter and uh, messenger. <laughs> and uh, my guide asked me to add that one. Anyway, I just uh, this is the week of the 4th of April 2016 and um, thank you very much for watching this video. As I always say, this is a very general reading. If you would like a more personal reading, please click on one of the links below the video. Um, okay, so the first message that I've got is number 77 in the little book of daily guidance and the message is the waiting game and it says there are great lessons to be learned in waiting sometimes things that seem stuck are stuck for a reason go with the flow and resist the temptation to push too hard breathe meditate release attachment and wait all will become clear very soon so sometimes when we are anxious for something to happen, when we are tired of the same thing not happening, it can actually be a really good thing. It can turn out to be a really great thing because sometimes in the waiting we discover something much more precious. Sometimes the thing that we want or that we think we want is not actually the thing that's for our greatest and highest good it's not even the thing that is for our greatest happiness. So, what this message is saying is that there is something much more precious to be found in the breath, in the moments, in just stopping and really reconnecting with ourselves again and asking not only why is this not happening, is it not for my highest good, but asking what is my heart really, truly wanting to express at this time? What is my heart really, truly wanting to express at this time? Because you may have figured out a way to do it, a way to do something, a way to structure your life, a way to create something, a way to make things happen. And your answer may not be the best answer. And I've experienced this recently that sometimes we do need to expand outside of the realm of what this can think up. Because what our minds can think up and conceive, we know very well, is nothing compared to what the heart can dream, can create, and can show us about who we truly are, and therefore what is going to bring us the greatest happiness and be for our highest good. So. This feels like a week when it could be a little bit stumbly here and there. and But we have to find joy in that stumbliness. If there are any delays and hold-ups and changes and shifts in our plans, we need to stop and acknowledge that maybe what's happening is actually a blessing in disguise and is actually the thing that needs to happen in order for our highest good to unfold and for our greatest joy to appear. Okay, so that's a, a lovely message. I love that one. Sometimes it can seem a bit frustrating when we're waiting for something, but when we sort of melt into that divine space and stop resisting and fighting the waiting and start to enjoy it and embrace it instead, something magical always happens. So I've got um, the Angels, Gods and Goddesses deck by Tony Carmine Salerno and I'm going to pick a card from this deck and I'm asking the universe to show us what might we find in the waiting that will be such a blessing this week and what what can we be shown um, by these cards about the richness waiting to unfold in our own hearts. The God of spiritual healing so an aspect of you or a situation in your life is in need of healing so what this is saying is stop, <laughs> look, don't rush. Don't try to rush past the lessons and the healing and miss the whole point of life because it's like John Lennon said, life is what happens while we're busy making plans. The richness and the beauty and the joy of your life is waiting somewhere beneath a little bit of a healing that needs to happen. And it's a healing to do with a fractured self, I'm being told. So we know that we've been in this Aries energy and it's all about defining the self and being clear about who we are. There is a fracture somewhere within some of us um, between the ego, who we think we are, who we think we need to be to get something from the world or to achieve something or to appear to be something 
or to show ourselves to have made sense of our lives or something like that. But when we let go of all of that and we go inside and we look for where is the wounding that stops me from seeing who I really truly am? Where am I pushing against myself? That's when we'll see the blessing and the beauty of the waiting and of any interruptions, any stumbling, because really, we're the, we're the ones who interrupt ourselves, you know, we're people interrupted sometimes, you know, and it's, it's our thoughts, it's our thinking and our perceptions that are doing all the interrupting sometimes. The heart already knows the clear, straight path that you came into this life to walk so that you will be a blessing to the world. So, have a great week everyone and thank you for watching. Please comment, like, share and thank you for all of your lovely comments so far, your lovely feedback. Thank you so much for reconnecting and for giving me this space to hopefully be a blessing in your life. Thanks for watching, see you next week, bye.